Welcome to another video, and this is a good one. This is something we've been waiting on for a while, and that is the actual Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Today, we're, I'm going to look at it. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to load a virtual machine. We're going to load Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC, which isn't due to be out until the second half of 2024. You can start testing it today, and I'm going to take you through that process of how to just create a virtual machine and load that product in and start taking a look at it. We'll get our first look at it. Let's start. So I have Hyper-V Manager on my system already enabled and I've already launched Hyper-V Manager. That's what you're looking at here. And from there, you click on new virtual machine, give it a name, Windows, Allowing now to the enterprise LTSC preview. This is an important one. Um, for Windows 11, you need the UEFI based firmware option. So, Gen 2, you're going to want to choose Gen 2 in order to get this virtual machine to launch correctly. Give it some RAM. Uh, I'm giving it 4 gig. I think the minimum now is 2 gig. I'm going to give it 4. Completely fine. Network connection. Disk size, I'm going to lower it down just a little to 80. And then you're going to boot from an ISO and I'm going to point it to my C drive OPKs. That one right there. Next. There we go. Finish. It's creating that virtual machine. Now, before you go and launch that virtual machine, I usually would still right click on it, do settings, and just make sure that from a processor standpoint, you've got at least four cores. I think it's a minimum, it's either a minimum two core or four core now, but it's good to throw four cores at this virtual machine. If it's less than that, it may fail. Um, you've got to have more than two gigs of RAM and it's got to have secure boot enabled so um, secure boot enabled here's also where you enable the tpm i'm not going to do that at the moment because i think for this product it's supposed to be optional so we'll see um, so tpm might not be a requirement so we'll give it a shot and see from there we double click to launch it hit start We'll see what happens here. Go to key to boot. So far, so good. And it booted to the installation. So let's go through the installation. Windows 11, IoT Enterprise, LTSC. Install now. Uh, I'm going to skip the key. You can, uh, I, I never enter the key when I'm installing an operating system, just so you know. Um, I typically always get it fully installed and fully functional and fully working uh, before I actually throw a key at it. So it's typical, very normal at this case to just always choose I don't have a product key just to get the product installed. Now we come to the option of choosing select the operating system. There's three choices here, but you can see right away that we have Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC. Um, that, I mean, that's a big deal. We've been waiting for the LTSC version for a while. And, um, but there's still three flavors here. The first one is not the IoT version. You can see it's missing IoT from it. So that's from the volume CSP channel. Typically for end users, general purpose use. Um, and in that channel, Previously, LTSC in that channel was only five years of support. Microsoft's talking about switching it back to 10 years, but previously it was five years. We don't have a word on the Windows 11 one because uh, there is, there's not an LTSC version out yet in that channel for us to know if it has five or 10 years. Then you have the IoT version, and it will get 10 years of support. And then you have a new one here, which is a subscription option, which... We don't have the details on that yet, um, but typically that would come into play with when you are loading 
um, the, the OS in the cloud, or you needed it somewhere in a hosted situation where you were going to just pay for it via a subscription. Completely brand new. Don't have any details on that yet. Um, I would assume it's the same product. I may have to do a different video to see, to, to, to see if it's different. But in this video, this is the one we came for. So let's continue on. And there we go. This PC doesn't meet the requirements. I could easily probably edit this out, but instead of that, let's work through the issue uh, because I have a feeling many of you will hit the same one and it could be that TPM module. So what we'll do um, is we'll hit the X to close it and quit. And I will hit the power button to turn that one off. And we'll come over here and we'll go to the settings and um, we will check the security and check this TPM module here. And hit apply. And hit OK, because I think everything else meets the requirements. It's all about meeting those hardware requirements for the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise. So let's give it a shot, because maybe this preview version they haven't, it, it still could be a TPM module still be, could be required in this early preview edition, right? So let's see. Next, install now. We'll see how far we get this time. I don't have a key. IoT Enterprise LTSC. We get the, uh, the EULA, so that's a good sign. So we'll accept the EULA. Um, I typically, you know, we're never doing an upgrade. We're typically always going to do that. We'll show that the, the virtual hard drive that we just created is completely empty and we just hit next and it will start to install Windows. And here we go. We've made it into um, the installation screen now. I'm going to choose the country. Going to choose keyboard. Skip the second keyboard layout. Um, yeah, my Ethernet's having troubles there, so I'm just going to uh, not connect to the Ethernet right now. User. No password definitely proves that you can set this up as a, uh, you know, not domain joined. And then through the privacy settings, just leaving them default. And then we're getting our welcome screens to Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. And now for our, our monitor, we will connect and um, sign in with the user. And here we have it. So right off the bat, let's uh, see what we're talking about here. Um, one thing, um, so it's basically Windows 11 as we've, we've known it before, but certainly a lot less applications installed, right? The only thing we're seeing here is Edge settings and File Explorer. And if I hit all apps, um, let's see what's in here. So you do have the accessibility, which is all the accessibility features. Um, calculator, getting started, Edge, Notepad, Snippin' Tool, Windows Security, Windows Tools. Um, if I launch the Windows Tools, it brings me to all the tools, okay. So, but not much else there. Certainly, um, you know, all the consumer type stuff has been removed. Let me see if I can move myself over to the other side here um, while we're recording and take a look at the other stuff. So you have the start in the middle and then a search and then 
Um, but what's over here? So it does say Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC Insider Preview Evaluation Copy. It's got the build 25370.zn release 230516, which I'm pretty sure that's kind of the date, May 16th, 2023, um, through maybe um, August 2nd time frame. So maybe that's the time frame for this particular preview. And um, it does have the other stuff that we're used to seeing here with only the security in the tray no internet connection and then the other items are just like windows 11 where if you click on them you get the pop-up the dates the notifications have been uh, on do not disturb so interesting so the other thing you do is right click on start go to system and let's take a look at what it tells us about the system so um four gigs ram core i7 and right down here it tells us the the addition Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC version 22H2 installed today's date. The build feature pack product key and activation, which I haven't entered a key yet, um, but it's showing activation state as active, um, which, yeah, that's interesting. Could be that I've activated some Windows 11 VMs on here before. So that's good to know there. Where was the other item? Go back to system about, yeah, same stuff. So very good. So we have the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC installed and working and ready to test out. And again, there is no store. Um, yeah, no, no Windows store, uh, no, you know, no Xbox, no weather. You see it's stripped down. Um, can we tell how much storage it used for the virtual on the virtual drive? Take a look and see properties. So just a base install used 9.2 gig. Of course, I'm not looking at what the swap file or the uh, recycle bin that stuff has been set up. So obviously there's a number of ways to even get that lower, but a default install only came to basically 9.2 gigabytes. Um, that's fantastic. So just under 10 gig, and you can certainly do a few more tricks to get that down lower. So awesome. I will leave you guys with uh, your first look of Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTFD and let you know that if you would like to download this product and test it out, now is the time. The product won't be out for another year. Uh, so now is a great time to start testing and see if you have any issues with the product and we can let Microsoft know about those issues. Reach out to us here at Arrow, um, directly to me or to my team, and we will get you access to this product so you can start testing. Thank you guys for watching the video.